What's up folks, it's RayPoopyTen the third with another Treyarch Zombies video. Today I have part one of my complete Verrucked map breakdown. This video will include an overview of the map, differences between the three versions, and some fun facts along the way. Verrucked, German for crazy or insane, is the second ever zombie map following Nocturne Toten. It takes place in the fictional Wittenau Sanatorium in Berlin, Germany. The map appears in three Treyarch releases. World at War, Black Ops 1, and Black Ops 3 as part of the Zombies Chronicles DLC. The zombies are very aggressive compared to the other maps. They run much earlier in the rounds, seem to be faster overall, and are more prone to double or triple tap you. This can result in an easy down early on before you are able to get Jug. As if all that wasn't enough, Corrupt introduced the zombies ability to hit you through all the barriers. You respond in to one of two sides, Jug side or Quick Revive side. You must open up to the power to access the opposite side of the map. In the Chronicles Remaster, it is possible to use anywhere but here to switch sides. The power is located on the second floor in between the showers and the kitchen. When you activate the power, the perks and the electric traps around the map will become active. Also, the door that splits the two spawns is automatically opened as soon as the power switch is activated. The box will always start in the room with the power switch. The map features the four classic perks, Jug, Quick Revive, Speed Cola, and Double Tap. On the Black Ops 1 and Chronicles versions, they added a Mule Kick Machine. This map is the first appearance of perk machines. In the Chronicles version, you also get a Wonder Fizz Machine near the power room by the showers. You can get the off-map perks Stamina Up, Widow's Wine, and Deadshot Daiquiri using this machine. The weapons from each game carry over to the box in Verrucked. The wall weapons remain the same in World at War and Black Ops 1, and in the Chronicles Remaster you unfortunately have Black Ops 3 weapons on the walls. No original wall weapons carry over. In World at War, the only wonder weapon is the original ray gun, just like Nocturne Toten. The Black Ops 1 version added the glorious Winter's Howl and the classic Monkey Bombs. In Chronicles, the Winter's Howl is replaced by the Wonder Waff, which I found a bit disappointing. As with all Chronicles maps, monkeys make a return, as well as the Annihilator special weapon and the ray gun Mark II. The four random marines appear again in the World at War version, while the Black Ops 1 and 3 versions include our four main characters, Dempsey, Takio, Nikolai, and Richtofen. It was revealed that Tank Dempsey is one of the four random marines and the only one that survives Verrucked. The rest perish and therefore are not part of the storyline. In Black Ops 1, if someone on your friends list is playing Verrucked, it contains a typo, missing the letter C. In the original trailer, a mounted MG was shown. This did not make it into the actual map, but mysteriously made it underneath the map. You can only see this if you use the noclip command on the PC version, or by getting off map in theater mode. But that about wraps up this video, I hope you learned something new. Stay tuned for parts 2 and 3 of the breakdown, every easter egg, and my high round guide. Subs and likes are appreciated. Peace!